Shutter Creek, where the Amador Buffs at 4-3 in league take on the Argonaut Mustangs at 6-1. Frank, the gym is just about sold out. Heck of a crowd. It's rivalry night, and we're going to have a good one. Well, you know, anytime Amador and Argonaut meets together, it's always an exciting game. And I think this one has a little extra excitement on it because Amador, on Tuesday night, was the Dragon Slayer. They took down the undefeated Calaveras Redskin over at Calaveras 53-44. After a very impressive win, win against Brett Hart, a blowout win on Friday night. So Amador comes in here with a lot of confidence, even though they got beat pretty badly by uh, Argonaut when they played over in Jackson. They're coming off two big, big wins. They got a lot of confidence. 38 of those 53 points on Tuesday night in that Calaveras game came in the paint. And that's something that they weren't able to do against a much bigger Argonaut team. We'll see what happens here tonight, but... Argonaut, again, the biggest team in the league with that big uh, front line, 6'7", six, 6'6", six, 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 the biggest in the league. Of course, their leading scorers are all right down there, but everybody's been contributing from the two guards in, in uh, Love and as well as... Uh, um, Oh, come on, help me out. Now, Nick Adam, along with all the front line, Brandon Shepard, Litchfield, and the sophomore Halverson. So, the gym's going to be electric tonight. After the two big wins, Amador thinks they got a good opportunity, so it ought to be a good one. All right, and with that, we're going to bow on out for a few messages and be back with the introduction of players and the opening tip-off. So, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, Frank, there were no introductions, so we're going to jump it right here in the middle, get this game underway. It's about 25 minutes late getting in, so Halverson jumping center for the Mustangs, and number 33 is Coleman for the Amador Buffs. Well, one of the keys to the victory against Calaveras the other night, Amador was the first team to hold Calaveras under 60 points, so they're going to need to play some defense tonight, that's for sure. All right, so Love controlling the ball. Ah, that was a four. Is trying to get it inside. They were lucky to retain possession there. Love tried to force it in to Halverson. Got tipped out of bounds. Nice move. Up, no good, no call. out of bounds. That was a turnover by McIntosh. Boy, trying to get a call from the ref, but didn't get it, so Mustang will get the ball. You know, I'm a little set, surprised at Van Dyke in the starting lineup tonight. He's really made some good contributions in the last three games for Amador. Oh, that was a little shuffle that didn't get called. Litchfield gets a foul. He's going to go to line shooting two. Is that McIntosh with the foul? Let's see. Yeah, it's his first, first of the game. Two shots at the line is Litchfield. Oh, that's short. Get the second one. One to out go. of two. First one just needed to loosen up a little bit. Yeah. Short off the front iron. So Amador or Argonaut comes out in a man to man defense. I like to see that instead of sagging back in that zone. Get some pressure early. They've got a they've got a big height advantage over Amador, and I like that aggressive play by Coach Adam. Kind of thrown up by Coy. He's got the rebound. Back up again. No good. Halverson with the rebound. I'd like to see Argonaut in that man-to-man -man defense a little more than they play. They like to play that 2-3 zone. I know it keeps their bigs out of foul trouble. Halverson going up. Gets the foul call. Yeah, Shaw was on his arm. He's going to go to the line and shoot two. First quarter of the game, sponsored by Jackson Tire Service, your headquarters for tires, wheels, brakes, and shocks. Jackson Tire, two convenient locations to serve you, 801 South Highway 49 in Jackson, and Highway 88 right in the middle of downtown Pine Grove. First one's good.
Second short. one's going to be short. Inside getting it to Coleman, trying to drive in basket against Alverson. Coleman using that big body bot, backing him down off the glass for two. All over Shepard on the high post there. Oh, trying to get it underneath. Another turnover for Love. That's just not smart play right there. And Love's going to come out. Coach Adam didn't like that at all. Holmes is in. Oh, Coy almost lost the handle there. He was looking for a call, didn't get it. Way up in the air. Rebound Coleman. He Shepard's going to be called foul. for the foul. Coleman's going to go to the line and shoot two. Jackson Rancheria Band of Miwok Indians has embarked on a major effort to upgrade every single park and ball field in Amador County. Amador County Park Restoration Projects needs your help. For information on sponsoring or even volunteering, give them a call at 223-8405. Again, Jackson Rancheria Band of Miwok Indians. Well, Coleman makes the first of two. Gets them both. Three to two, Amador. Five and a half left in the first quarter. Shaw's going to get called for his second foul in a hurry on a pan check. He's going to come out of the game. His number 11 is going to check in in a hurry. That's Longacre. Alverson underneath. Backs up and traveled. Nice little floater by Webster. Puts it at 6-2 right now, 444 left in the first quarter. That was a kick off Webster's foot. It'll be a clock reset, and Argonaut will have it on the side. Litchfield underneath. Nice pass from Shepard. Litchfield missed the layup. Little hard off the back iron. Great pass from Shepard. Foul underneath. I think that's going to be on Holm on a hold. Longacre was trying to cut through and Holm I think grabbed him. I don't know why the shot clock is not running. That should not have been a reset. It was an air ball. It's still set at 35. The shot clock never started. It shouldn't be at 34. Uh, they're looking, the referees are looking at it right now. See him? Yep. Take 12 seconds off the clock. What do you say? I think they might set it at 12. That was a long possession. All right, they're going to oh, set no it. Oh, no wonder. Neville's running the clock. You're sure he yeah. is. Oh, 
Okay, they went back into the 2-3 zone now. Shaw, long three. Front iron, no good. Shepard comes up with it. And when home comes in the game and love goes out, they really need to fall back into that 2-3 because they lose a little quickness on that exchange. Trying to run everything through the high post. Get it inside to Halverson. Shot clock at 14 right now. Over the back. That's going to go on number 10, Coy. Yeah, and, and, and that's what Amador does. You know, they really try to be physical with this much bigger Argonaut team. And that's why you'll see in the two games they've played so far, both victories by Argonaut, is that Amador fouls a lot. But that's normally what happens with, oh, big swat over the top. That's going to be on number four, I believe. That's going to be on Webster. I think that's going to be his second. All right. Love coming back in. Adam goes out. And that foul was on yeah, Webster. It was only his first. first. I thought it was his second, but it was only his first. Litchfield gets grabbed by the wrist. He's lucky he didn't get called for that foul. Webster for the lay in on the steal. Eight to two right now. Another, another turnover by Love. And that's three bad passes early in the game here. The first one, they were lucky to keep possession. Two turnovers. So Andrew Hoff is going to come in for Shepard. Eight to two, Amador. Three ten left in the quarter. Oh, that was a lazy pass right there by Amador. They're lucky they retained possession there. Three officials tonight. Yes, First time we've seen that this year. Get a good shot, Jerry. Joseph. Blocked by, by Albertson. Albertson. He gets the rebound. Bob's going to take a three. Got Good. it! First field goal for of the night for the Mustang. 8-5. 2.20 left in the first quarter. Webster it throws it away there. Oh, oh, I don't think that ball was tipped. But that's the way he called it. It was coming right at the camera. You be the judge. And we've got a timeout time Amador. Amador, ACES Waste Services from Innovation and Quick Response. ACES delivers on their commitment to Amador County for providing quality waste recycling services along with helping to keep Amador County clean and green. It's ACES Waste Services. Low scoring first quarter. Yeah. Eight to five with 2.12 left. Amador in the lead by three. All Sierra Roofing, your full-service roofing foothill contractors and Owens Corning Platinum Preferred Roofing Contractors serving for three generations, fully licensed, insured for both residential and commercial. The right roof starts with the right contractor. Call All Sierra Roofing today at 223-4496. Again, All Sierra Roofing Company. You know, a little helter-skelter to start this first quarter out, and that's not uncommon in, in these rivalry games. Anytime, regardless of records, when Amador plays Argonaut, everything is heightened up a little bit. The pulse is a little quicker. Long three. Whoa, that was a long way out. McIntosh buries the three. That was from NBA territory. They're really fighting over the top to keep that ball inside. Hoff gets it inside. Holmes from outside. Oh, off the right iron. Rebound, Coy. That's Longacre for a three. Another three by Longacre. And we're going to get a timeout. 
14-5 Amador on two quick back-to-back -back three pointers. Argonaut takes a full time out here with 127 left in the first. Well, you know, and you have to understand basketball is really a game of runs, and you need to use your timeouts, you need to do what you can because you need to stop those runs. Anytime during the game, both teams are going to have runs, and they'll go on a run, you just need to try to contain those. We saw that in the Calaveras Argonaut game. Calaveras was out, Argonaut reeled him back in, you know, cut it to five. One, so it's, and the, and the coaches can control that a lot, but they can't let a team get in momentum, get in sync, and get out on that long run. They need to slow it down, stop it. Good timeout by Argonaut. So far, Argonaut with only one field goal, the three pointer, three -pointer. By, by Hoff. And, and it's really not like they're missing shots. They're actually turning the ball over. Yeah. That's one of the Achilles heels of this team. They do turn the ball over more than they should. More than they more than they certainly need to to continue to be successful, that's for sure. All right, Adam brings up court here. Litchfield on the high post gets a battle away. Another again. turnover. That wide open underneath. Didn't see him. Nah, he saw him. There was nothing there. There was no pass there. He had a bigger man defended him. There was nothing there but a turnover waiting right, to happen. We're going to get a jump in possession is Amador. Yeah, first jump ball. Argonaut controlled the tip, so possession arrow in favor of Amador. 32, Crosby in for the Mustangs. Now. Yeah, Coleman checks back in for the Buffs. Crosby comes in for Litchfield. Coleman wants the ball inside, just using that big body. Alderson got a piece of that. Crosby comes up with the ball. Another lazy pass, almost stolen there. Alverson. Oh, you got to put that up. You can't be tentative on that. They're going to call a foul, but on who? Going to call it on Amador. Alverson's got to put that shot up. You can't try to pass the ball two feet. That's a turnover waiting to happen. You got to be more aggressive than that. There he is for two. Finally got it inside to the big guy, and he laid it in for two. Another block by Halverson, his third of the quarter. He had six blocks the last time Amador played. Three already tonight in the first quarter. Whoa, nice play underneath. Nice little put back in for Webster. Right down the middle of the key and boom, in. No foul! 16 no 7, 15 seconds remaining in the quarter. Crosby, don't go off part off the back iron. Amateur comes away with the rebound. Three seconds left in the quarter, that's going to do it. 16 7, we're going to be back with second quarter action right after this. the second quarter 16-7 right now the buffs are out in front of the mustangs locally owned and operated jackson tire service is your headquarters for tires wheels brakes shock struts and tire rotation two places to serve you it's 801 south highway 49 in jackson out by Rayleigh's. also highway 88 in pine grove it's jackson tire service while well, webster leading all scores in the first quarter with six he had three baskets Nice little cut there on the inbound play right there to end the quarter in the scoring. Two threes, one by McIntosh, one by Longacre for 
the Buffs, and Coleman's got a basket and two free throws, so that rounds out the scoring for the Buffs. Three points for Alverson, a three by Andrew Huff, one or two for the free throw line for Litchfield, and that makes up the seven points for the Mustangs. Another turnover. And there's a oh, they gave one back. Turnover, yeah. Yeah, Halverson's taking a break here to start the second quarter, so uh, Crosby remains in with the other four starters. Love, Adam, Litchfield, and Shepard. Adam, open in the corner, launches it up, no good. McIntosh pulls down the rebound and quickly throws it away. Both teams just a little bit too much of a hurry. A Shaw's going to check back in. He went out early with two fouls. Oh, another love almost get another turnover. Just making bad decisions here. Shepard, little floater, no good. Fight for the rebound, gets his own rebound. New shot clock. Litchfield, little cutter going across. Nice fake, nice move, basket. Count it. Somebody's got to fill. Oh, Litchfield's going to be called for a grab. That's Van Dyke into the game. Third team foul for the Mustangs. Shaw checks in. Webster's going to take a blow. Litchfield's first foul. Travel. Travel. Turnover. Going to be called on the Long Acre. Another turnover. For Amateur, both teams have been very generous in that department. Halverson's going to check in for Shepard. Coleman Time in. out. Amador. Coleman in for the Buffs. Camps Propane, your full service state of the art propane company. Ask about senior and veterans discount and the smart system. A worry free propane monitoring system that saves you, the customer, money. In the upcountry, give them a call. Camps Propane, 296 5544. So 16 9. 6.21 left in the second quarter. Both teams continue to turn the ball over on a, at a frightening pace. <laughs> Hate to count how many have happened already. So I think that had something to do with uh, Coach Neville calling that timeout for the Buffs again. Didn't want to allow Argonaut to get on a run. You know, the game of momentum, and you can see it shifting. When Omo shifts, you got to be careful. So for the Mustangs, oh, the starting five. Well, sh sh yeah, the starting five. Uh, Halverson came in, I guess, for Crosby. So they're back to their starting five. They're really trying to deny the, the pass on that high post, whether it's Shepard or Halverson coming out to do that. Uh, he tried to throw it over the top. Another turnover. That one by Shepard right through that right in the hands. Long acre. No good. Oh, don't oh Litchfield stood around. there looking at it, expecting somebody else to get it. That was off of uh, off a of coy, but but Love was very lucky there that that kicked off of his leg. And Litchfield was standing there expecting Love to get it where he should have go to the ball. You can't expect anybody else to get it. So you got to take command and go after that ball until you know that it's your teammate that's got their hands on Really denying that high. Yeah, they're going to call him. They're, they're going to have to start calling that. That was boy. I mean, they're just battling on that high post trying to 
keep that pass from going in there because they know they get a real disadvantage when you get that triangle with that pass to the high and you got Litchfield and Halverson who have size advantages underneath there so they're really pushing and shoving Coy got called for the foul so one and one and Shepard's going to go to the line shooting gets the first Sixteen ten, Amador. Gets them both. Pressure, oh, Argonaut's going to pick up man-to-man -to -man full court here. Not a press, just a man-to-man -man pickup. Well, you're going to not do it this next time. That's what's going to happen. Thank you. Well, Van Dyke, I don't know if that's what he was intended, but it went off the glass and into the bucket for two. Look, at they're trying to see him trying to front the high post. Litchfield underneath, and that's what they're trying to avoid. Litchfield's going to be fouled by Van Dyke. He's going to go to the line and shoot two. Litchfield good on the first part. Gets them both five point amateur lead right now. Oh, oh nice job by Litchfield. There's came a turnover. Out of nowhere there. Well, he was standing right there man to man. They tried to get it inside because they had an open man after Halverson missed the steal, and he just threw it right in his hands. Over they're, the back. Cold. Yeah, and they're going to continue to get called for those fouls, and that's the way they're trying to play it. That's the only way they can play it because of the size differential. Halverson's going to go to the line. Whoa, not Halverson. Or no, Litchfield's Litchfield. going to the line, going to shoot one and one. Got it. Who's that foul on? Well, right? they don't have they a don't two have a out there, foul. so I'm not sure who they called it on. Makes so them both. Well, it had to be 32. It had to be Coleman, imagine. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was, but I thought it was on Halverson, and Litchfield went to the line, yeah. so. Here we go with a break. Litchfield. Here they come to the hole. The shot. No good off the iron. Shaw gets a rebound. Amateur's going to slow it down. 18-15. Amateur lead. Argonauts cut it to three. Oh, and that was a bad cross-court pass. That will result in a turnover 90% of the time. And that was the 10% that you didn't see. Both teams continue to throw the ball away here. Got a new player in for amateur, looks like number three, Cooper Riaz, Anthony Cooper Riaz. Ruiz, Riaz. Five seconds on the shot clock. No reset on the throw out of bounds. Oh, throws it up, no good, the tip. It's no yeah. good, tipped out by Argonaut. Halverson, ahead to low. For the layup, we got one a one-point game. Here comes the pressure again up front. Oh, now they're trapping a little bit. <laughs> well, Shaw thought about it. Reese got the Three. bucket at the two. two. Shepard to Litchfield. Halverson with the rebound to put got that down the bucket.
2019. Shepard, nice job on defense there. Just that tried to take the charge. Alter the shot. Litchfield. Adam. Shepard. Oh, Litchfield was wide open. Shepard nails the triple. And we're going to get a timeout. Neville needs it right now. Mustangs are on a run. The first target on lead, 22-20, 2.38 left in the half. When it comes to power tools, shop and buy locally with family owned and operated Guy Saw Center, your outdoor power equipment headquarters for sales, service, accessories, and repairs. Guy's Saw Center in downtown Pine Grove. Argonaut on an 11-4 run here in the second quarter to take a 22-20 lead with 2.38 remaining in the half. They found a they found a rhythm that they like, speeding up the game a little bit, went to the pressure, and they found it desirable there, getting some turnovers, getting up and down the court a little faster, and creating some space. If you let Amador get some time to drop back in there and suck within that key, that's what they're trying to do is really uh, bang up against the, the much bigger Argonaut team. And so as long as you keep that, it creates open space there. And as long as you're moving the ball, you get some easy buckets, and that's what's happened here on this run. All right, 2.38 left, 22-20, point lead by the Muskies. Ruiz to inbounds. In and out. Oh, Coleman did a good job on the rebound to get a foul on Halverson, I think. Basket is good. Foul is on 24. You know, and there's no excuse for that for the Mustangs. You've got to get a body on that. You can't allow that offensive rebound right under the basket there. Coleman did a good job using his strength and putting it up. Misses well, the free throw. Talison's first foul. Litchfield on the cutter, getting pushed on the ground. There again, another foul by McIntosh. That's going to put him into double bonus, so Litchfield's going to shoot two. Five for six already on the night for the free throw line for Litchfield. Got it. Got them both. Well, Litchfield got it rolling from the charity stripe tonight. Two minutes, nine seconds left in the half. 24-22, Mustangs. They're trying to get it inside to Coleman. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Three-pointer, long. Shepard, oh, that should have been a foul, I'll tell you. <laughs> no call. McIntosh got away with one. Oh, Adam, Adam all the way. In. Got it. He almost lost that three times on the drive, but was able to reel it in and get the bucket. His first point of the night. 26-22, Argonaut. Oh, almost another turnover there. Lucky to retain possession. Ruiz, a little baseline move, gets in trouble. There's turns your turnover. it over. Turned over again. Adam turns it over. That's a travel. Amador turns it over with a minute left. No, oh, man. Alverson dealing, puts up the shot, no good, doesn't get the call. Here comes Amador. <laughs> Litchfield backing off, just daring him to shoot that. Oh, in and out. Shepard pulls it down. Possession's going to go to Argonaut. 
No, the arrow is at Amador. Oh, no, I'm looking at the bonus. Yeah. Surpro, the Brothers Road's largest restoration company, specializing in water damage, mold mitigation, fire and smoke damage restoration. Their 24-hour response team can help you make your water and fire damage look like it never even happened. Surpro, give them a call, 223-4423, serving Amador and the Mother Load. Well, Sean Van Dyke check in for Amador, good to three-point shooters out there with 15 seconds left in the game, the clock's running. Oh, there's an open look. No good. That's way long. Van Dyke with the rebound. No good. Misses the shot. Another offensive rebound. Lays it in. I believe that was Coy. He's going to do it at the half. 26-24. Mustang by two. They do. We've got a good one going tonight. 